Today is a big game day in Rome. We've been trying to get tickets for days, but no luck and we can't get in. However, we know someone who can get in. Her name is Lisa and she's the AS Roma season ticket holder from Denver, Colorado. Hey, buddy. How are you? So, Lisa, how yeah. you been? Um, I've been uh, depressed <laughs> since our loss last week. We played like shit. We played horrible. It was, it was very, um, it was very degrading. Considering we went into the Christmas break. Um, looking really good. We had won four or five games straight and then we we came back from break and we look like we did last year. So I've had to think about this game all week because Juventus, Juventus is tough and they're going to be tough. The last time I saw them, uh, Roma played well against them and we won. But Roma has to play really well tonight. No mistakes, definitely no playing like last week. And we could do it. Because the following two weeks, we've got the Derby with Lazio. And at the moment, Lazio's ahead of us by like uh, seven points, which makes me ill to think about. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we need we, we've got a tough schedule, you know, we've got this game tonight, we've got the Derby, we need to win both of those, and we need to win our, our out-of-town games, both of them this month. So I'm really, really, you know, I'll know more tonight. Uh, I hope they, they give us a good victory. I wore my, my, all my good luck stuff. So what do you think, Tony? Oh, I think you're prepared. Oh, I'm prepared, but you know it's not shit. me that has to play. <laughs> <laughs> I have to count on them. Okay. No, we're we're doing well. Um, you know, they're going to try to shut down Jaco tonight. I already know that. They did it last week and they succeeded. So, you know, I hope Roma practice this week in knowing that that's going to be their goal is to shut him down. The team, when they play, you know, when they're on, they're on. And when they're off, they're really bad. Really bad. So, you know, I hope, I hope that um, after last week, they woke up from Christmas break. And, uh, you know, we'll see some better football tonight. We need to win. We need to win tonight. We need to win. I want three points tonight. <laughs> I'm passionate for, with the football. Uh, I grew up with four brothers and a father, so you can imagine we watch sports on TV. And, you know, I definitely did a lot of sports because that was the only way you got any attention in my family where there were seven kids. So, you know, when I came over here, um, you know, I just had to adapt to soccer because there was no American football anymore. But, um, you know, I adapted to soccer. And then I started going to more games when they, uh, the year um, before last, when they, when they um, uh, went to the semifinals against Liverpool. And, oh my God, I just got so, so um, passionate about it that uh, I decided, you know, um, it was too difficult to get people to take me down there and I started taking public transport and I just bought an abonamento and I go by myself. Season I don't ticket. care. You know, and 
it, you know, I got people around me, you know, when Roma scores, we all hug each other. Nobody even knows each other. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know, and they all boo, you know, for the other team. And it's like, oh my God, this is like terrible sportsmanship. But it makes me laugh because you get away with so much over here. Plus I love, you know, taking the scarf out and doing the Roma Roma song. And uh, I'm still learning it, by the way. I forget my words. But um, um, just the whole passion of the game. I mean, Roma fans are just, they're like, I don't know if you know the Denver Broncos, but the yeah. Denver Broncos are crazy. The fans are crazy. This is how the Roma fans are. They're absolutely crazy. I love the Roma fans. So listen, Lisa, do you want to tell our audience why the car is shaking so much? Yeah, we're driving on this, these Some cobblestones, yeah, which are all over Rome, mostly the center, and uh, um, it's hell riding a moped on this thing. Your back better not be <laughs> in bad shape, or it will be afterwards. <laughs> Plus, they don't really maintain them very well so there's a lot of potholes in them um, I like them but um, they're just not feasible for this city anymore there's just too much traffic they don't maintain them the, the, you know they don't maintain the roads period let alone these cobblestone streets <laughs> so I mean they're beautiful you know they 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 have you know, they bring a special touch to Rome. It's a, it's a wonderful city. You know, it just doesn't function. Also, I dated a guy, an Italian guy that was a Lazio, Lazio fan. fan. That, was, that was a big error because, you know, he'd always get his shots in when Roma, you know, played bad. This last derby, you know, that we played them, um, it was a draw, and I know they were pissed off, and so were we. So I really, really hope, since it's my birthday, when the derby, the next derby comes, that we, you know, they win for me for my birthday. That would be the greatest birthday present anyone could give me. The lineup. Paul Lopez. Alessandro Florenzi, Gianluca Mancini, Chris Smalling, <laughs> Alexander Kolarov, Jordan Veritao, uh, I don't know how to say his name, Amadou Diawada, Nicola Zanzolo, Lorenzo Pellegrini, Diego Perotti, Hey, Evan Jago! <laughs> Forza Roma!
we couldn't get inside the stadium, we picked the next best option, which is Corre de Roma, meaning the heart of Rome. A restaurant in San Giovanni and one of the famous Roma fan hangouts. Penso che ormai dobbiamo ricominciare tutto da zero perché ogni anno viene smontata la squadra e come ogni anno facciamo questa, queste sofferenze per 90 minuti purtroppo è una cosa che capita spesso e io spero che finisca il prima possibile questo smantellamento della squadra ogni anno eh, stasera è andata così e spero che ci riprenderemo presto da, fra due settimane si gioca la derby della capitale, che ne pensi? Eh, penso che noi si stiamo, come si dice, stiamo riscaldando i motori da questa partita di Roma Juve, è andata così, ma io penso che tra due settimane siamo carichi come leoni e penso che non ci sarà partita per la, la, per la Roma, no per la Lazio, per la Roma, li, deva, li devastiamo, facciamo neri. Va bene, grazie, grazie mille. Buona serata, ciao ciao. The game didn't go too well for Roma fans, so no celebration around here tonight. Another exciting day in Rome is over, time to go home. Facciamo una, una cosa un po' più ottimistica. Allora, sulla Lazio dai 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 che, che so sì, ottimista la Lazio ma che sei che sei laziale mi fai perdere il lavoro no la Lazio non potevo devo parlare male cioè, no, ma, no male no però devi pure, dire che fra due pure. settimane facciamo meglio no ah, quello sì, ma, oddio e poi vengo preso per culo perché se la Roma perde mi rimettono mi ricondividono nel video